is another interesting dental case. Uh, so another draft horse, so 14 year old Percheron. Uh, this horse has a whole host of, of dental issues. Um, was doing quite well, actually looked great. Um, you know, it was in good body condition considering what its mouth looked like. Owners were doing a great job with it. It did have also a history of many years prior of a uh, mandibular fracture. And so it presented for um, some nasal discharge and then continued um, dentistry. So this horse has a very severe shear mouth. So you can see the angle right there. Multiple missing teeth. And then interestingly enough, bilaterally, we have these very expanded mandibles. Um, and here we can see some smooth osseous proliferation. Over here, we can see some lysis. It looks like a probable draining tract. The horse did not have um, any known or reported draining tract. None was found on exam. Again, you can see that just extreme shear mouth, missing teeth, and then those really expanded um, mandibles. So interesting. The horse also had uh, some um, fluid in the sinuses and then what looked like probable small uh, uh, cysts within the sinuses. Um, and so at that time it was sort of assumed that these small nasal cysts were causing a little bit of the discharge, the nasal discharge. The owners elected not to pursue those at the time, uh, but to follow up with imaging. They did go ahead and uh, treat some of the dental disease, uh, extracted the 409, uh, tried to address the shear mouth a little bit more. Um, and then there was a lot of discussion on what to do with these mandibles, you know, trying to get a, an FNA, seeing what's going on with them. Got the cat visiting. Uh, and at that time, the owner actually elected to um, just continue monitoring the, the changes within the mandible and not FNA them. Um, but you know, we had some debate on what could be going on there. Are these secondary changes to a historic fracture? Seems a little odd. Um, you know, could it be a neoplasia and your uh, rismal bone cyst? Um, some sort of nutritional issue? It seems odd. It would only affect these mandibles. So interesting case. I've talked to a number of people about it. I'd, I'd love to hear other people's thoughts on it. <laughs>